Right, so this first is tie this mop back. Right, we're going to start off with the eyes, I think. Shall we? No. Start with the base. So, we're going to start off with the poor professional. Um, don't even know what came over my mind then. The poor professional minimising of pores benefit. As you can see, it's very battered. Um, so I like to just place that on my finger and go into the places that have really got the big pores. Uh, for foundation, I'm going to be mixing two different shades. So I'm doing the Morphe uh, Fluidity in F. 2.70 and the infallible 24 hour fresh wear in ivory because I've got a fake tan on it's dark but not dark I don't want like a dark face if that makes sense so I put more of the dark one on than I do the light foundation only because we don't want to be too pale and I prefer to do a primer foundation like this like war paint don't know why always have done don't know <laughs> um, I think it's just so I can see how much I'm not wasting any product because it's already on my face so just go in and blend that. So the only thing that I found with the Morphe foundation is quite orange. So like there you can see compared to the rest of me, it's got quite an orangey tone to it, but I don't know if that's because it's intended. Because when I went to the Morphe shop. Like, I was looking at different shades, and obviously they come over and start helping the stuff. Um, he said that the orange tones are used mainly for when you have fake tan. Because obviously, most fake tans are quite orangey based. Like, you don't find one that's like quite fresh and quite pinky colour. Um, they're all quite like golden colours so that's why I suggested going for this one obviously I did colour match when I was there because I was wearing fake tan at the time um, and then I just go in with my beauty blender and just even that out just a little bit more because at the minute it's looking rather cakey see in the mirror it's the same colour whereas on there I look very it looks quite grey toned concealer I'm using the Fit Me Maybelline concealer in 05 quite a pale concealer but when you're quite tanned, it's nice to have that little pop of something. And it sort of blends the rest of my face in then, to be fair. <laughs> um, and again, Beauty Blender. Just bounce that in. Um, you may find also, I don't wear lipstick very often um, this is because I've got a really bad habit about my lips really bad I've tried stopping but I go about a week without having bitten them or picked them or anything like that and then 
it goes from one extreme to the next and they're completely battered. Like before I obviously even started videoing this, I was sat just picking. I don't know why I do it. I don't know whether it's like a comfort thing or whether it's just a habit. I don't actually know why I do it. Um so yeah. <laughs> That's why you probably won't see much lipstick tutorials in, like me applying lipstick in my tutorials because I don't, I can't wear them because it stings my lips and I don't learn, I don't learn that you shouldn't <laughs> be biting your lips and stuff but it's a, it's a habit sort of thing. Right, to set my face I'm going to be using the, what am I going to be using? Oh, there's the hair on that, don't want that. The Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette. I've had this for ages and as you can see, it is battered. Um, I'm going to be using like a banana colour in the middle. Just to set under my eyes. I need to get a new one to be fair. Because I do really like this palette. Um, I think because it's got that those grey tones, but then it's also got the setting powders for underneath your eyes. Right, I'm then going to go into contour, and again, shade light palette. Um, I will be using. Do I go? Yeah, I'm gonna go for the middle shade. It's more of the orangey colour. This is the cool tone one. I'm going to go for the orangey colour. I can't tell what shade it is because they've all rubbed off. <laughs> so, bit of that. And I don't go all the way down. I sort of like just sit here on the cheekbone. I feel like it adds that more bronze look than all the way. And let's go into the temples. On the fod. And it just creates that golden little C shape on my face. And same for the other side. When I do my every day, I just literally like whatever's left on the brush, I sweep down. But when I'm going for more of the glam look, I do get, um, it's like a angled brush in a way. Um, literally, ever so slightly, tap it in, get as much off as possible and just go down. And it creates that very subtle line and then I'll just drag it down. So as you can see that's one half quite defined and then it's going to do the other half. I do start from the brow, obviously at the minute there is <laughs> not much brow there. And then just drag, blend that out a little bit, just like that. Very subtle but very effective I think. Um, so I'm just going to zoom you in. So I'm using the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade in taupe. Um, because obviously I'm quite fair. Well I'm not really fair to be fair but you know. <laughs> and I just, I don't use this, well I, can't, I normally use a spoiler but I can't find it. So I just. And that is my brow done. I don't really create an eyebrow. I just follow my normal natural eyebrow. Um so, I'm just going to place some concealer 
tiny, tiny bit as a bit of a base. Just a tiny little bit. Concealer brush. Take it up to the eyebrow ever so slightly. Try and be careful not to go in to the eyebrow you've just carved out. Because that can be a disaster. So to blend in that out. Right, so today we're going to be using the Dose of Colours Blushing Berries. I know it's a very old palette, I love it, and I feel like because it's now springtime, well autumn time, is it spring or autumn? I don't know. It's now ready for the purples. My guys, <laughs> right. So first, I'm going to be taking a big fluffy brush. And I'm just going to take the first shade, quite pale pink, and that's just going to go into my crease as my transition colour. It is a quite pigmented pink, actually. I didn't. It doesn't look like this colour in the actual. Pot. <laughs> um, try and blend that up as high as you can go. All the way up. Nice and feathered out. And then... Oof. You can always build this colour later on. But I'm also going to then take a smaller br fluffy brush and I'm going to take the pink like a berry colour in, in there in there look um, just to create that plum looking colour straight in the depth there right in the corner create that berry Best to take a little at a time and then build up. And then take the other fluffy brush and just blend them edges together. Like that. Now I'm going to spice it up a little bit. I'm going to take a little corner, and well, I don't know what you'd call that, a little pencil brush, I think. Take the same pink, that one. Oh, it's in my Hoover then. Ooh. <laughs> um, and just want to be focusing. I'm gonna do a halo eye. Just want to be focusing on the inner corner there. Just want to create that depth right there. Remember, little at a time, build up. Oh, to pat myself in the eye. That's so. Oh, uh, that's horrible. And then, fluffy brush. Blend them edges together. Now I've gone quite far down because, eventually, I do try and blend that out a little bit. So back with that old that pink colour and back over this just to add that blend just for that blended look just like that right so for the pop of glitter I am going to be just a normal flat shader brush. I'm just going to be using a highlighter, which is the Marilu Manizer. Marilu Manizer. Marilu Manizer. Hmm. I'm just going to be using that for the glitter in the middle. I don't want loads of popping, but just enough. 
to catch the eye. Just enough. Just like that, luscious. Just literally going along the outer corner. I don't go no further than that line. No further. It's just to create that depth for the um, eyelashes. The cyan pencil brush. I'm going to start with the pink. Just add that blend. Straight underneath. Just to add that blend, then take the pink and follow it under. Right, and then for mascara, I'm using the Roller Lash by Benefit. Love this mascara, hands down. Does anyone else find that really annoying when your lash, lash doesn't stick? How irritating. One eye done. Need to get rid of that. Right. I'm just gonna zoom you back out. So that's one eye done, I'm just going to go off camera and do the second eye and I'll be right back. Right, so this this is the finished look. Um, I've obviously gone for the halo, I've gone for the pink um, plummy looking colour on the outside and inside and then glitter on the middle. Um, I'm now obviously going to finish the rest of the face. So with the same highlighter, um, I'm going to use a highlighter brush which is the Mary Luminizer highlighter. Just going to do the high points of the face. Nice and glowy. Because obviously, although we're quite light and lightish, darkish on the eyes, we still want that little pop of glow in there, don't we? Like, oh, look at that. Look at that. Beautiful. Then I'm just going to use a little shader brush, flat shader brush, turn it to the side and I'm just going to use that to run down the middle of the nose and create a little exclamation mark, rub it in and then it's going to go on top of the cupid's bow and then under the eyebrow. I feel like highlighter is one of them that brings the whole look together if that makes sense right and then obviously for the lips and obviously you do remember so I do not use anything on my lips regarding lipstick or lip gloss because it stings so bad so all I use is just some Olay Vaseline get that in See, sometimes this stings my lips and because I've just recently been picking, it is really, really painful. So this is the finished look. Obviously I'm not going to do anything with my hair because I see BA. So this is the finished look. Um, just zoom you in to see the eyes. So I just want to say thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Um, if there are any autumn spring looks that you do want to see, then um, 
be sure to leave it in the comments down below if not please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe um, and I'll see you in my next video bye